For like three years, I had well over 100 terahash solo mining Bitcoin and I never hit a Bitcoin block. So keep that in mind. Uh, and we are back, baby. What is going on? I hope you are having an epic day. So I still haven't put um, the right ink in my printer. Actually I did, but that's a whole nother story. So I just stopped at my local library to print up some labels for some eBay sales. And um, I wanted to talk to you because something happened yesterday it might have been the day before yesterday and um hasn't happened in a while especially with this low amount of hash rate and uh yeah someone out there mined a bitcoin solo block i can't believe it it's sort of blowing my mind i mean it happens all the time but um this happened with 48 terahashes so as much as i say that solo bitcoin mining is a scam buying those little solo bitcoin mining is a scam it's just for fun the proof is in the pudding you actually can mine a solo bitcoin block uh but let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because still, you, you watching this video, you're probably not. You're probably not. So, the latest solo Bitcoin block was mined with 48 terahash. To put it in perspective, that is, I don't know, maybe um, 42 of the latest Bitax miners. Um, maybe it's an old S19 with just two working hash boards, or maybe it's three Antminer S9s. We don't know, but one thing we do know is it is actually a pretty low amount of hash rate, uh, coming in at 48 watts. So, um, it very well could have been someone that bought one of these home miners, um, there's also the Canon Avalon Q, and it's like 90 terahash, but they also have low, low, um, low hash rate, low power modes. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's freaking possible. It's crazy. But at the end of the day, if you only have one bit axe, bit axe solo miner, definitely not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen. Even if you had 48 like, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if they had 48 bit X miners. Um, all I know is that it was 48 terahash. But even so, if you had 48 terahash, you have to understand that it is a once in several million chance that you would mine the uh, a solo Bitcoin block. And that chance is getting worse and worse every single day with uh, more miners coming online. So although someone did mine a solo Bitcoin block with 48 terahashes, it did happen. Don't start buying bid axes thinking that you're going to mine that solo Bitcoin block, all right? If you're gonna buy them, buy them knowing that um, you're never going to turn a profit. Now, if you are gonna buy them, if you are gonna buy them, if you are going to try and actively compete in the Bitcoin lottery, you're gonna need more than one. You're gonna need more than one terahash. Um, you're probably gonna always be growing your solo uh, Bitcoin hash rate, so I would say a minimal, a minimal to even have the slightest of a chance in your lifetime of mining a solo Bitcoin block, a minimal hash rate would be at least 10 terahashes. And, and that's like nine of the latest Bitax miners. That would be a minimal. 
Um, but we just seen someone smash a Bitcoin solo block with 48 terahashes. The last one I seen was like multiple petahashes. So thousands and thousands and thousands of terahashes. So like I just said, I would start off with at least 10 terahashes no matter how you do it, if you want to get 10 bit access, whatever, if you want to get one old uh, Ant Miner S9, maybe change up the firmware and the fans on it. You know, however you want to do it, try and start off with at least 10 terahash and um, add miners as you go along. Maybe save your money, try and buy an e eBay bundle or something, try and buy another 10 miners and um, work your way up, have a goal, have a goal. Work your way up to maybe 50 terahash or 100 terahash. Um, I personally, I had an S19 with, I think it was 100 and ter 120 terahash. And um, even sometimes it was up to like 180 terahash because I added other miners on it. Um, solely mining, so uh, solely solo mining Bitcoin. Um, my largest miner is down now, so I'm just running a couple terahash solo mining Bitcoin. But um, yeah, we're gonna try to get that back up to 10 or 20. And I'm also gonna try and run those miners since they're all low powered miners. I'm gonna try and run them off solar. So anyways, one more time, although someone did mine a solo Bitcoin block, although someone did win the Bitcoin lottery with very little hash rate, 48 Terra hashes, you will probably never mine a Bitcoin solo block. So remember that all the money that you're going to invest to uh, solo mine Bitcoin, you're probably never gonna get that return on investment, but there is a very slight chance that you can.